Whoa. Okay, that was dizzying. Oh, hey guys, it's Dylan. Hey guys, so today I am going to do a, uh, a video on reinterpreted show titles. So the way this works is I'm going to take a show that is premiering this year, for instance, The Next Step. I'm actually looking at the list on the whiteboard behind me, you can't see that. For instance, The Next Step, and I'm going to reinterpret it into a reality game show or reality television show. Some of these are close to that already. Maybe they are, and I didn't read the description properly. Anyway, let's get started. So, the first one is The Next Step. The Next Step is a reality game show in which each contestant must take a single step and then pass a baton onto a new contestant. The first contestant to fail their step is knocked out. This will include tons of treacherous tasks. It's like Wipeout, but you can only make a single step, huh? Next on the list is Halt and Catch Fire, the newest game show craze sweeping Japan. In this stunning, brand new game show, contestants must continually keep moving through obstacle after obstacle. If they stop for even a second, they're lit on fire. Next on the list, we have Murder in the First. In this thrilling documentary and reality television show, GoPros are strapped onto contestants who then have to navigate through a room filled with crows. Get it? Because it's first person and there's crows, and a group of crows is a murder. Ha! That one's funny. You just don't get it. Next up is Almost Royal, a reality television competition where ten people who claim to have royal ancestry are pitted against each other in Victorian era competition like sword fighting, dueling, and horseback riding. After all the eliminations, the winner gets to see if they truly are royal, or are they only almost royal? Yeah, I went there. The Last Ship is a horror reality television competition in which ten people are stranded on a ship and they must try and survive in the open ocean with no help and limited supplies. It's like Survivor, except instead of crash landing somewhere, they're just on the boat the whole time. Reckless is a reality documentary about celebrities who are taking their lives down a reckless path, and if they don't get intervention, they may die. The Leftovers is this year's standout. It's a thrilling competition in which five people are pitted against each other to try and find the best leftover food inside of an abandoned refrigerator. Only one can eat. You get to see who. Man Finds Food is a reality documentary in which people randomly find food in places you wouldn't expect it and then have to decide whether to eat it. If they eat it, they might get money. That's how reality shows work, right? There's a cat on my shoulder. This is going to be cut in somewhere in the video, just randomly. So, uh, props for paying attention. Hey, Loni, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Alright, we'll go back to the main video now. I hope you enjoyed this cat interlude. Next up is Extant. Extant is kind of a visceral thinky competition in which contestants must prove to a philosopher that they do in fact exist and are not figments of the philosopher's imagination. This contest will get weird. Trust me. Next up, my personal favorite, The Strain. In The Strain, contestants are fed constipation-inducing food and are then filmed. I hope you enjoyed these reinterpretations of show titles. Some were lame, some were hilarious, some were just plain weird. But if you enjoyed any of them, please like and subscribe, or leave a comment. I do love feedback. I don't get any, but I would like some. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for today, and I will see you tomorrow. P.S. The U.S. beat Ghana in a 2-1 to one win. It was really exciting. If you are at all into World Cup, this was a really good game, and I hope you enjoyed it.